Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully update our active link, right? So now everything is work perfectly. Now friend, in this video, I want to discuss about one of the most interactive things as a middleware. Like I show you, actually I noticed it and also a lot of students ask me about to create this type of one of the things that how you can protect your all that URL. Okay, so right now if you go to our um, web.php and into this web.php here you can see I have already created one of the group controller, right? So that is one of the group controller that is also another one that is also another one like right now I want, I want to do that is all that our admin route, right? So I want to do when this user will be not locking that user will be not able to access that URL so you can protect it by the middleware like I show you what exactly that uh, arrow you will face like that is one of the um, that is one of the controller and that is our route name as a change password now I copy it so right now I am already logged in for the reasons when you want to access that or URL as a change password then you can see it's now successfully loaded but problem will be happen when you are not logging better I want to open with the um, cornigo and here if you want to now access our that URL now that should be display one of the error you can see it's now display as an attempt to read property id or null that type of one of the error you will face so if you want to protect it like right now i am not logging without logging if you want to access our that url automatically that will be redacted to the logging page so there have one of the by default middleware is created when you install laravel as i told you before if you go to um, that app and then if you go to that http and that is our middleware and by default one of the middleware is in here as authenticated middleware Right. If you go to that kernel.php and into the kernel.php, you can see by default one of the middleware is created as a auth. So that is the middleware will be actually responsible if this user is not logging automatically. User will be redacted to the logging page. So now I want to do I want to access our that middleware. So if you want to access it, they have the so many options like i show you like if you go to that route and if you now go to that web now i want to do i want to um, block that means i want to add that middleware a specific or that url so if you want to do this work then you have to do simply that is our change password and after that name route here i want to do i want to access another one i simply added that middleware so that will be the middleware and i want to allocate it that middleware that there have the default one of the middleware as auth right so i want to do i want to access this auth now our middleware will be executed for our that url like i show you if you click as a save all now if you go to our side and now if you refresh it now that should be redacted to the logging page now you can see without logging you are not able to access our url so that is our route i have already created as a change password now if you want to access it automatically that will be returned redirect to the logging page so that is for the single one of the route right so if you want to add that say, a specific single route in here if you want to add some of the middleware you can add it but right now if you want to create it for the all that means now then you have to do you have to create another group middleware right so if you go to that laravel official website and here if you go to that documentation and into the documentation if you go to that the basic and that is the middleware and into the middleware here you can see they have all that instruction which i have already discussed about that things with you like here um, i want to find out that group middleware like here you can see there is a middleware group so if you want to use some of the middleware group then you have to do you have to allocate it by like this like right now i copy it okay or better i copy total things from here and now i want to do i want to add all that our middleware in here that means right now first of all i will have to do have to add it and then i want to do to end it that is our total route that is started from to this position and ended in here right after that i paste it so now that will be our total block and in particular that position right now our middleware i want to do I want to access that middleware as a auth now our auth middleware will be executed for our total group controller okay so that will be executed in here right now if you don't want to use it like right now i don't need this i want to do and to remove it okay i simply remove it now that will be executable for our all group i show you like if you now click as a save all if you now want to access our change password again i want to do and to refresh that page 
and now to access our change password click is enter yeah it's returned direct to the our locking page and also on to, if you want to access that our logout or admin profile i want to copy it and now if you want to access that our admin profile now click as enter now you can see it's now successfully returned direct to the locking page so how to protect your all the trout i with using that middleware group how can add some of the middleware group i hope it's very much clear to you so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video